All right, so I'm just gonna start out this video uh, saying if you wanna watch the content of the actual uh, title, which is something long of pros and cons of the army, um, then go ahead and skip to this time timestamp um, so that you can watch that. If you are interested in just me overall, you can go ahead and keep watching. Uh, but if you wanna just know about the military, and I actually have experience about the military, it's not just me saying, oh, I hope this is the pros and the cons. I've actually been enlisted in active army. I'm currently in National Guard, going back into active duty as long as all the paperwork goes through and the National Guard will actually release me. So it's not just somebody just talking a big game or whatever, the lighting in here is freaking horrible. There we go. So enjoy watching uh, that. Hope I don't get copyrighted for that. All right, YouTube, what's up? Listen, I'm gonna be completely honest with you right now. I have turned on this camera about fucking, I don't know, five or six times uh, and recorded almost a whole day. And I had, didn't edit it, didn't even think about editing it. And I finally realized what put me off so bad that, uh, that I didn't want to do YouTube. And the weird thing is, is like, Filming and editing videos is kind of a passion of mine. I actually really, really enjoy it. I love interacting pe uh, with people in the comment section. It's just fun for me. But one thing is I felt like I was being a complete liar uh, to the camera. Not that I was actually spitting lies, like false information, but I wasn't showing my life as a whole. I was just showing part of it, right? What's up, beautiful? Daddy, see, the monster fell down. Yeah, we're watching Monsters, Inc. Are we watching Monsters, Inc.? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Are you getting my computer that even the monster dropped down? Yeah! <laughs> and then so the most day. of the time when this would happen, I would be like, oh, cut it, hey, can you please leave me alone for a little bit? Yeah. Stuff like that, you know? I wasn't showing the father part of me, I wasn't showing the husband part of me, monster and I also down. wasn't showing the real struggles in life. Like recently, the past two months have probably been the hardest months of my life. So. Um, I felt like I was a liar, like I was being two-faced. Like when I was having a bad day or something, I would come to the camera and be like, yo, what's up, YouTube? And I would just continue that. But that made me feel like a liar. Like I said, not in a sense of false information, but in a sense of I wasn't showing the whole story, right? Like I was holding something back from you guys. And I realized that that could potentially lead to me not impacting my viewers as much as I would like to. Because if you go back to my very first video, you'll see why I wanted to start YouTube. I wanted to inspire, I wanted to motivate. I wanted people to reach their full potential. And I realized once it came to like a year of doing YouTube, a couple, like one like kind of viral video, like I got like 40,000 views on it or something like that. It might be up to 50,000, I don't know. But I've gotten like a few hundred subscribers since I've stopped doing YouTube. And I realized that the numbers aren't everything. And that's what I was focused on. I was like, why am I doing this if I'm not going to get the numbers I need in order to be successful in my field? And that's when everything stops, when you focus on the numbers. We don't focus on even if you just impact one single person through your videos. That that, that, that alone would matter enough to push through the fucking hard shit. To go, to grit down and bear it. Right? Gr yeah, right? <laughs> uh, grit and bear it, grit down, and just keep going, keep going, no matter what. And just fucking record the videos, even if the content isn't the best. Like, eventually great content will come along. Eventually it will happen for you. Even if it's four, five, six years down the line, if it's 10 years down the line, if I'm, tw if I'm 36 and it fucking happens for me, hell yes, right? Because obviously I don't want to just impact one life. I want to impact thousands, hundreds of thousands of people's lives. That's what I really want to do. So I'm going to fucking start doing this again. I just can't help myself. I keep coming back to it. And if I didn't love it or have passion for it, I wouldn't keep coming back to it. So let's get this fucking vlog going. All right. It's going to go in from uh, today to tomorrow. All right. It's already 5 PM. So let's get it guys. All right, so I'm vlogging on my phone because I already forgot to bring my camera, but I'm not going to make that excuse anymore. If I forget my camera, I've got a camera on me all the time, my phone. So I just want to say something real quick. This is like super life hack. Uh, you guys know this is like a fitness channel, but I'm just going to be vlogging more of just my life in general. But vapor inhalers, I finally 
buckled up and got one of these things for like five or six bucks, depending on where you go. If you're lucky and you get them on sale, they're like 350, but they last forever. And I am a person that just loves to be able to breathe good, especially before my workouts or cardio. And I like to try and breathe through my nose as much as possible because it's just good for your, uh, building your cardiovascular health. Um, just to be able to breathe because when I do long distance runs and stuff, it's definitely helps. So vapor inhalers, guys, buckle up, get one of these. It is so amazing. They last almost forever, especially, oh, not to mention right before bed. Oh my God, right before bed, yep. Take a couple big ones and you can just breathe so well. But I'm about to talk to you guys about a life changing thing uh, up here in one of the next clips. So stay tuned, watch it through. It's going to be the title of the video. So obviously, I'm going to prolong it so you keep watching the video, okay? Because I do want to build my channel. Let's go. So I just picked up Aquaman. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. Sorry, like I said, I'm vlogging on my phone. So. The balance isn't too great. They don't have my gorilla pot on me. But I've heard mixed reviews about it. Uh, but I obviously want to see it for myself. I'm not a huge DC fan. Uh, I'm Marvel all the way. Um, and this month, Endgame, com Endgame comes out. And I'm super freaking stoked about that. I really hope it's as amazing as, uh, you know, at least Infinity War. Because the Russo brothers are doing it. If you're Mar into the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. But we'll see if Aquaman's good. So something that has been postponing and holding me back from, um, well, not holding me back, me something I've been doing that I'm holding myself back with is watching way too many movies, watching way too many shows, like at least three to four hours on watching TV or watching YouTube. But I am promising myself to limit that. So from now on, uh, I will only watch YouTube or Netflix while I'm doing cardio and then while I have the hour and a half to two hours with my wife at the end of the night, so this is something we want to watch together. Uh, she probably doesn't want to watch it, but she ends up liking the movies I pick out anyways. So, you know. Here we go. This is, I was going to hold off on saying this, or talking about this until tomorrow and kind of prolong the vlog, but I realized that there's kind of going to be some time in this clip, so I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and then end the video uh, after I talk about this. So I am actually going to re-enlist into active duty. I was in active duty for three and a half years um, and I went, I transferred into the National Guard and I'm going back into active duty again. So first I'm gonna talk about why I'm doing that and then second I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons and if you are looking to enlist into the military, why or why you should not do so, all right? so. Um, I enlisted into active duty at first because I couldn't get my life together, right? I got in, I actually did a really, really good job. Uh, I was a, an amazing soldier, great with my physical fitness. Um, I got a bunch of awards, one soldier of the month. Uh, I went on a tour in Afghanistan. And then towards the end, since I knew I was getting out, I kind of like died down on my motivation, died down on my, on just being all of my soldiering, period. So. Like, I, I wasn't as good as a soldier as I should have been during that time. So, why am I going back in? Well, I'm going back in, one, because I just feel like I'm a soldier at heart. I've missed it since I've come out, got out. And I know there's supposed to be like this transition period um, where you kind of have to get used to being in civilian life, but I've experienced a lot already. I went to, I had a corporate job, I started my own business, um, my business took off, um, and then it kind of died down a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, I'm getting it back up again, but that's not why I'm going back in. I'm going back in because I have a purpose of leading, right? I want to be a leader uh, to those in the combat MOSs. So I'm an infantryman, uh, infantryman, <laughs> but I'm in the infantry, which is a combat MOS. Now, that is a very, very difficult part of the military, okay? So another reason I'm going in is because Fort Drum is if you tell somebody you went you were stationed at Fort Drum the first two sets of two words that you're gonna hear is either I'm sorry or that sucks right um, so I just had a bad first experience being at Fort Drum everybody else that actually liked being a soldier was good at it uh, if they were stationed somewhere else they had a better time because we were constantly 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 training and we are the most uh, Fort Drum is the most rapidly deployed um, base in the United States right so 
I'm going back in because I have a purpose of leading uh, those within a combat MOS. And I want to do an even better job than I was before. I want to really go in and make a huge impact on the ones that, you know, come into work saying, oh, I hate, I hate the army, I dread coming to work, this, that, and the other. And my, my leadership um, kind of philosophy will be, that's fine, I get that. Sometimes that's not going to change, but let me tell you something, is if you don't take it seriously, whether you hate it or you dread coming to work, you have to to do a good job while you're training because it's either yours or somebody else's line, uh, life on the line. Okay, so um, that's why I'm going back in. Now let me tell you the pros and the cons to being in active duty army, right? So the pros are, one, you get, you, you harden up, you get really disciplined. If you're lacking discipline and you feel like you need discipline in your life and structure, right? So two is structure. Um, then yes, that army would be good for you. You would go in, you would be forced to be disciplined unless you get kicked out. Then you're like, come on, right? So um, number three is that steady paycheck coming in every two weeks. But if you're doing it just for the paycheck, just know that you're in the wrong place. Uh, number four, you have a really huge sense of purpose uh, not only serving your country, but serving like your friends, families. Like that's how you gotta think of it, right? Like I am literally going to be protecting uh, those that I love and those that they love and so on and so forth. Um, number five, I would definitely say that the camaraderie, hey, daddy's talking, the camaraderie um, that the army brings, right? You, get, you gain really amazing friendships you you feel like you're connected to these uh, brothers or you know, sisters in arms. Um, so that's one thing that's really good. And not only that, but it's really healthy for you because you're forced to have physical fitness. Sometimes it's unhealthy because they break you physically, but you get my point. All right, now the cons to being inside of the army. Uh, one is everything in life is more unpredictable than it already is, because life is already unpredictable, right? It's even more unpredictable than it is now, right? Like literally you can get a call and be like, hey, come into work at 2 a.m. We have to do a, a roll call, whatever. Or it could be like, hey, we're going on deployment, uh, you know, in, in August, and the next thing you know, it's like, oh, we're not, and your kids and your wife is already in California prepared for you to go on deployment, so then you miss out on the time with them. Yes, that actually happened. So, you get my point, right? Another thing is like, your family. You don't have as much time present with family as you usually would, right? Like I left my daughter, my firstborn daughter, she was three months old and I had to go on deployment. And I didn't see her until she was already walking and talking and all that good stuff, right? And yes, now we have like a super solid bond uh, and that's one of my other points is like, that's not gonna kill you. Like sometimes being distant from your family and then coming back to them, like builds an even stronger relationship. Uh, sometimes, not always. Uh, number three is the paycheck isn't that, for fun. <laughs> it's not that great, okay? It's really not. You don't get paid a lot, but if you have a family or if you're single, you get, you get housing, right? So you never have to worry about uh, place to stay at or you know paying your housing bill it's always taken care of for you all right but the pay itself is not amazing is it horrible no it's not but I mean getting up to the third rank uh, you're still only making like less than thirty thousand dollars a year um, but that's you gotta remember you have to remember that housing is not included in that okay so you get housing and you also get fed right families get BA uh, BAS which is basic allowance for subsidence Single soldiers, they get um, the defect, so they can eat for free all the time. So that's nothing to worry about. So you gotta remember, yes, you're getting paid <laughs> around $30,000 a year, but you're also getting your food and your housing taken care of. That is like a huge chunk, even if you were paying just you know $700 a month for um, somewhere to stay, and that's just, just like for a single person like looking for someone to stay with, like not their own place, right? Uh, that's seven thousand uh eight thousand four hundred dollars a year that you're actually getting paid more and that's just like a super low end right i i here in california i pay you know fifteen hundred dollars a month at the very minimum so you gotta think about how much it is it's like over fifteen thousand dollars a year more that i'm getting paid um so that adds to it and also bas for for uh married uh couples they get around 300 and something dollars so 350 a month uh, for BAS so again 
huge pay jump. So that's something you have to consider. Uh, but the paychecks themselves aren't amazing, so don't go in and think I'm gonna go in, you know, get a freaking car and everything. Because if you do, like I did, you end up putting yourself in debt, which sucks. And it took a while for me to get out of it. All right. So another thing is um, waking up early and all that shit is not great. Okay. I mean, if I like it because I like structure, but hey, what are you doing? Why are you crying? You get my point? What, banana? Can you wait a minute? Okay, so you're just gonna walk and talk with me. So you just have to think about uh, all of that, right? Another huge con is worrying about if you're going to survive a deployment, you know? It's really stressful thinking about, you know, am I gonna see combat? Am I gonna come back? It's a very stressful thing, and your family has to stress about that as well. So you just have to consider all of that stuff before signing up. Now, um, if you're gonna sign up and go into the military, you're like, I'm doing it. And this is just speaking from an army standpoint. If you are considering that, just know that if you don't have the right genuine purpose, if you don't have any purpose but, oh, I need a paycheck, it might not work out. I'm not saying it's, gonna, it's not gonna work out because you might feel like, oh my God, I actually like this, I have a bigger purpose whatever because that's exactly what happened to me right um i didn't go in to like serve my country i didn't go into like you know if, uh, impact those that i served with i didn't go in to be a leader i went in because i needed a paycheck and my life was fucking crumbling in front of me so just consider all of that though um if that's not always going to be the case most of the time if you go in for a purpose of like oh i need money for college that's another pro by the way uh you get your college paid for most of the time um it's kind of difficult to get the money but you get my point. Um, but if you like, oh, I need uh, money for college or I just need a steady paycheck, you're going to dread going in for that paycheck, realizing I could have made this money, you know, being an, a supervisor at Walmart. Like, for real. Like, you make that money at McDonald's. So, you need to have a higher purpose. You need to have a reason other than money alone. That's just with everything business. Um, taking a job, taking a, a brand deal, whatever. So that is my little bit on the Army itself. If you guys have any questions relating to enlisting in the Army, if you have any questions relating about the experience that I've had in the Army, or just any questions related to the military or fitness in general, like I'm gonna start sharing with you how I'm preparing to go back inside the military because while I do work out six days a week, I'm not preparing in the same way for the military because it's a whole different it's a whole nother ball field when you're preparing for military fitness okay so I'm gonna start sharing that journey with you along the way so you can keep watching the channel if you have questions right now you go ahead and let me know I will answer them I'm going to be checking this video quite frequently so let me know and I'll try and do my best to get to you I will get to you but I'll try and uh, answer the best of my abilities but guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm actually going to probably edit this video like tonight or finish it up tomorrow morning. I'm super excited to get this video up because it's been so long and I actually feel so fulfilled putting out information like this, especially for those looking to join the military or interested in military content because I know that a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys came from my day in the life of an army soldier. But I also will be sharing the different parts, the more exciting parts, the funner uh, parts of being in the army as I go in, transition in, and all that stuff. Like I said, hopefully, so my issue right now is I have to get released from my National Guard unit, which is not an easy task before the active army will take me and find a, uh, find where I need to go and then go. And it's been already a month and a half of me requesting to be released, um, but we're in the final process, the final stages of it, and I am, they, if they don't release me, I'm going to cry like a little baby um, because I really feel like being a soldier and being a leader is such is so like a part of me that I would feel like something's getting taken away from me. Um, so I'll let you guys keep you guys updated as the process goes along um, and more about my life and stuff. But this is going to be a vlogging channel that is going to have military and fitness within it. I know you guys have probably seen a couple of those. Nick Bear. Um, Nala the Nava the Beast. There's a few more, but 
I'm hoping that I'm gonna bring something different to the table because I'm super motivational and I also have a very like big sense of humor that is based around, I'm gonna be honest with you because I'm tired of sugarcoating shit, is like sexual comedy. Like I can't help it. I just, that's, that's the way it is, all right? So thank you guys for watching. Please like if you have not done so, subscribe, and also comment down. Let me know what information you would like to know about the military because I probably have it. So I have had a lot of, I've already had five and a half years of experience, okay? Thank you guys, I appreciate it, bye.